What's going on YouTube? Run Good Life coming back at you with yet another video. So, we are busting some retail configurations of 2020 Tops Heritage and we're doing it for two reasons. Number one, I don't know if you guys watched my first series where I busted seven hobby boxes of Tops 2020 Heritage. Uh, I hated how that series turned out and I explained it in the recap, but basically I was having not so great day. Let me adjust this lighting a little bit for y'all. I was having not so great of a day, um, and I had seven hobby boxes to get through. I was tired, I was stressed, I was frustrated, and I think that it really showed in the videos. Um, so I wasn't happy with how the, those videos came out, and I wanted to do something. I wanted to bust some Topps Heritage in, when I was in the zone, when I was ready to enjoy cards, and that's where I'm at tonight. I haven't busted in a few days, um, and my local Walmart got some of these in. And then my local Fred Meyer got some of the fat packs in and the hangers. So I wanted to grab a little bit of each so you all can see the configurations. Um, I think I have all the configurations. I don't think they make a hobby box of, or not a hobby box, a mega box of Heritage. Other reason, um, so I watch a lot of trading card YouTubers. And one of my ones that I watch on a consistent basis, I watch two every single day because they release daily content. Uh, again, doing the fingers. Uh, number one, Phil's Pools. Um, this is a little low rent for him. He's off bust in 2018 Sapphire boxes and $3,000 products. So if you're not familiar with Phil's Pools, great channel. Phil Hughes, former major league player. I think, I don't think he's retired. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, but he's kind of killing it in the YouTube game right now. And then Jab's family who has over 50,000 subs. He does a lot of retail as well. Um, a lot of cool series. So one of the series that he does is he does this kind of retail review where he does a review of all the configurations and he kind of chooses the best card from each one or something like that or he sets himself up with a budget and so he does that. It's really cool. I enjoy his content. And so all the great YouTubers and pretty much all YouTubers just steal content, steal ideas from one another. So that's what we're doing here. Um, so I have three of the $3 packs. I have three of the $6 fat packs. I have a $10 hanger box and a $20 blaster box. So we're going to walk through each of these. Um, so I do want to point out like this one. I work, I recorded a series talking about pack searchers. So this one has a clipped corner. Uh, the back of one of these is open. This one bottoms open, but I haven't searched through any of these or anything. I just kind of clipped them and showed some techniques for, you know, what to look out for to make sure you're not buying a product that's been pack searched. Um, so that's why some of these might look a little wonky. So let's go ahead and get into these. First up, these are going to be the nine card packs. These have, I believe, tattoos in them. I've not seen too many of these open aside from Jab's channel, but let's go ahead and get into these. Again, with Heritage, you're not really seeking out the big hits. You're seeking more of the short prints and things of that nature. There are real one autos. There are some pretty cool relics, but those are few and far between. At best, you're going to get probably an action image or a chrome card in one of these. So Dansby, John Gant, Kyle Tucker. I think that might be a short print. Nope. Joe Jimenez, Yadier Molina. I like this card because it has a jump man on it. It's actually card number 400 in the set. Not a short print. Phil Irvin and Garrett Cooper. So I want to show you guys on the back um, before we get into any more. See, so anything over 400 is going to be a short print. And if any of these had, were like an action image variation or anything like that, it would have it right above the name right there. So that's how you tell with Heritage. They make it really easy. You don't have to look at that code card on the bottom like you'd have to do for Top Series 1 or Flagship or something like that to seek out those um, short prints. You know, if you're not familiar. So I do like that this set does spell that out. So we have Glaber, Manny, Lorenzen, Brandon Dixon, Polo Grounds, Willie Mays, 1954. Pretty cool. He Man Choi, Clayton Kershaw, Mike Moustakas, and Adam Eaton. Again, let's look on the back, see if we got any short prints. 385, 226. So no short prints in that pack either. I'm not going to do that with every pack. I don't want the video to go too long. But I do want to find the first one so I can point out some stuff. Assuming, you know, we have all this product, I assume we'll get at least one short print. Hopefully we'll get an action or something too. Something better than just a short print. Calhoun. Ramon Laureano. Chris Taylor. Teoscar Hernandez. And Luke Weaver. So those packs... 
did not really do anything for us. The Roman Loriano, though, you can see card number 495 in the set, so that's going to be a short print. Nothing else really happened in there. So out of those packs, out of $9 worth of packs, we got one short print. Probably going to be because it's Ramon Laureano. Probably only going to be about a dollar. So not too great right there. But let's go ahead and get into these fat packs. I have seen some crazy pulls on Facebook from people in groups. Um, also on Twitter. Some nice real ones coming out of Fat Packs. Real one autos, that is. Trent Thornton. There's our first rookie, Dylan Cease and Zach Collins. Friend Mel Reyes. Is that going to be an action? Nope. 275 in the set. Nick Talkman. Jordan Hicks. Sean Manaya. He's a cheater. Joe Panic and World Series. So, again, we'll go on the back, see if we can spot any short prints. I'm trying to do this while looking at them on camera. So, that pack was not very good. Let's go ahead. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I do, if I do spot an action or something like that, I will show it to you guys. But we are with this. I, I, I do want to get more uh, Aristide Aquino and Jordan Alvarez for sure. Also more uh, Bo Bichette. So speaking of... Ah, those are the not-so-hot Blue Jays. Two Blue Jays cards. One has Bo Bichette. The other one has a couple pitchers. So World Series. Eric Hosmer. Daniel Murphy. Omar Navarez. No longer a Mariner. Mike Freeman. Flashbacks. Stock trading is automated for the first time in 1971. Cool. Kenta Lance Lynn. Ranger Suarez. Luis uh, Louis Arez. Arez. I feel like I've seen him so much and I still can't pronounce that name. Teoscar Hernandez. Luke Weaver. Jake Jonas. Good good guy for um, a good little sleeper pick for your fantasy teams. Tyler Glass now and ending with Padres rookie star. So... Not quite the rookie stars we're looking for. We do have one more pack though. So these packs have been probably, these packs have been pretty below average based off what I've seen. Again, this is one of the packs that I used in my video. So the back was already open, uh, which is going to make opening up more difficult, of course. More Manny Machado, Nick Ahmed, Miha, Danvi Swanson. Zach Collins, Dylan Cease again. Martin Perez, Fran Mel Reyes. So same kind of group uh, grouping right there. Same collation. Noah Syndergaard, Will Meyer, Jason Kipnis, Buster Posey. I believe he is a short print. Ryan McMahon, Tyler Bede, Kenley Jansen, Mike Miner. Cubs, so there's a Nico Horner. Mike Fires, Whistleblower. So let's look on the back really quick. I'm pretty sure I was correct that that Buster was a short print. I could be wrong, of course. That Noah Syndergaard was actually a short print in that pack. So Noah Syndergaard, number 428 in the set. I do like the cards a lot. Stylized after 1971 tops. So you never see 1971 tops looking like this with good edges, uh, good corners. Everything's usually edge wear white everywhere, dented corners. Good luck finding a Thurman Munson in a high grade. Um... All right, let's go ahead. Let's get into the uh, hanger box. I believe this was 10 or 11 bucks. I do like these hanger boxes a lot. I like the configuration. You just get a nice giant stack of cards. So I, I appreciate this. I appreciate the lack of packs that you need to open. Just one kind of see-through pack. I think the top series ones are pretty great, whether they're the hanger boxes or they're the tins. Um, I like this configuration a lot. The Walmart prism hanger boxes were like the best for basketball so let's go ahead and get into this some indians rookie stars max muncie wilson Contreras, some strikeout leaders pedro severino nike emblem that's kind of cool astros but not the astros we want to hit these are the lesser rookies the non-yordan rookies if you will mitch hanniger my dude Always cool when you hit your, 
you're your PC dude, so I'm actually putting all the Hanegers I hit up there this year in my windowsill. Yo Moncada, Kevin Newman. Nationals finished the fight. Thank God that the Astros didn't get two World Series as cheaters. Ramo Tepe, Malik Smith. He looks a lot different this year. Cut his hair. Tyler Bede, Matt Boyd, Colton Wong, Asuna, Big Luke Voigt for the Yankees. More Yankees with Austin Romine. Clevenger, I like him. Don't you know Cano? Nicholas Bradley, Chase Anderson, Ryan Zimmerman, Jose Peraza, Marcus Simeon, and Sam Conrude. So not a lot happening through those packs. These have actually been kind of brutal. Just going to do a quick run through really quick. See if we got a short print or not. Or if anything that I didn't even see. I don't even think we got so much as a short print there actually. So the, these have been rough. These have been pretty rough to be honest with you. But hopefully we can turn it around with the blaster box. I've not seen too many blaster boxes opened. I know Jab's opened a couple on his channel. Um, but when I did my seven hobby boxes, I said I wasn't going to bust. Um, hot. I usually, I can't help myself. And I end up doing about $100 worth of these, about five or so blaster boxes. I said I wasn't going to do any this year, but as you can see, that's a lie. Um, and, and I'm happy about it. You know, I wanted to do a video when I was in a good mood, when I could enjoy Heritage. So here we are. First pack will tell a lot. There are hot boxes. So in once, you guys watched my video where I hit the hot box out of our case where every every pack had a chrome purple. I don't know what the rate are for those in Hobby, but I did see that Jabs hit one um, where he had a chrome purple in every pack. That was pretty damn cool. Pujols. Thought we had something, but it's going to be Apollo Grounds for 1956. Darling Castro, Lourdes Guriel, Ian Desmond, and Marco Gonzalez. So again, not so much as even a short print in that pack. It's tough out here. I think, what if we hit like one or two short prints? We haven't, haven't really hit a good rookie besides the Nico. So hopefully we can hit a nice chrome or something, but... Heritage is not really known for being a set where you're going to walk away with some big hits. So, Lorenzen, Dixon, Gant, Trevor Richard, Ian Kennedy, Julio Tehran, and Nicky Lopez. So, again, are we are we hitting any short prints? No? Still no? Yeesh. I know in the hobby configuration, the short prints are about eight per box, one in every three packs or so, so... I didn't actually even look at the odds for for retail. I assumed it was about the same, but let's see what we got. Pack number three. So we have Chris Bryant. I'm expecting a bounce back year for him. Kyle Tucker. Be interesting to see what Tucker does. I'm not a big Dodgers fan, but I don't know if you can consider him a cheater or not. 492 on this Jeff McNeil. So this Jeff McNeil is going to be a short print. Eman Choi, Clayton Kershaw, Brandon Lowe, Mad Max. Really looking forward to this baseball season. As we get closer, I get a little more excited every day. Uh, I'm personally excited for the Astro Plunk Tour of 2020. Um, it's their cheaters. Sorry, guys. They're cheaters. Willie Calhoun, Shane Green, Brandon Woodruff. So we have a then and now of Reggie Jackson and Jorge Soler. Yo Jimenez, Yadi Molina, Kenley Jansen, and Mike Miner. See a lot of repeats, a lot of similar coalition. We have some Cardinals rookie stars. Nolan Arenado, Blue Jays rookie stars again. This could have been two Boba Shets, but instead we get two Blue Jay pitchers. Trey Turner, uh, is this going to be... I'm pretty sure if we turn this over, it's going to say Silver Dame. Or not, Womp Womp. Because it's white. Because I was looking at it like this and it looks silver. But as soon as you get it out of the light, it's actually white. So thought we thought we had a short uh, variation, not a short print, but... I was wrong. 
I have my lighting set up a little bit different. Ugh. Get out of here. Chris Taylor. We have more Cubs. So our second Nico. I know I got some comments calling me childish or whatever for ripping up that Astros base card or ripping up several Astros base cards. I don't care, guys. It's veteran base. Like, it's just going to go into a box anyway. So if it makes me feel better for ripping up some Astros, then so be it. And that's probably what I'm going to do all baseball season. So get used to it. Sorry. Wilson Ramos. Eric Lauer. Benny. I think that's going to be a short print. Yep. Number 419 on that Ben Benintendi. I do expect him to have a better year than last year. David Bodie and some Dodgers rookie stars. When we have two packs left, uh, we haven't seen a chrome yet. I don't think we've also seen a, a sticker or what is it, a tattoo. I think we should probably get one of each of those. Or actually, let me let me rephrase that. You're not guaranteed a chrome, but I do think you'll get a sticker at least or a tattoo. So maybe we got one of those coming up. Edwin Encarnacion, Danny Santana. New Age Performer is going to be Shane Bieber, Kenta Maeda, Joey Votto, and Louis Urias. Not sure what to make of Louis Urias. I thought really big of him on the Padres, but he did get traded. So a lot of people think he's just going to be a journeyman. I disagree. So last pack we have not really done. Even for heritage standards, I would say we're pretty below the bar in terms of um, even short prints, no variations to speak of. A couple Tigers right there. Jay Bruce and the Phillies. Ender and Cancion. Ranger Suarez. Louis Urias. World Series Game 1. And Joe Musgrove. So, not a whole lot to write home about there. We did hit some short prints. Um, not a whole lot. I would say, honestly, our best card. And I'm going to check. I'm going to look through all of these. See if I hit, didn't recognize anything on my first pass through the video. Honestly, though, I would say our best card out of all of that. And that was about $50 retail uh, worth of Heritage. I would say our best card probably been in Tindy at about $2. Um, so maybe the Nico Horners were each worth a buck or so. Um, maybe the, J the Jeff McNeil was worth a buck or so, but not a whole lot happening there. I'm actually kind of surprised. Do we not, do we miss a pack? We actually didn't even get a tattoo. Look for limited and exclusive 1971 to seven packs plus one extra pack. So I'm a little surprised that we didn't hit even a tattoo or a chrome card out of that, that heritage blaster box at the very least. That was a little surprising to me. I am going to go through these again, go through all these, make sure that I didn't miss anything. If I did, um, you guys will probably catch it in the comments before reaching the end of the video because you guys are eagle eyes like that. Um, but that's going to do it for the break. Let me know what you guys hit out of Heritage this year. I know I did a break earlier this um, this month of some Heritage uh, hobby boxes. You can check those out. Not sure if we're going to do any more Heritage on the channel, but you never know. That's going to do it for this time. We got more. Uh, what do we got coming up? I think we got more Optic coming up on the channel. So catch you guys on down the road. If you like my comment or like my content, be sure to like and subscribe. And we will catch you next time.